Hi, my name is Natalie. Primalia. Lim Shen Hong. Mirabel. Diana. Brian. I'm from Community Laboratory at Southeast. My first break. Racial Harmony Youth Ambassadors. My first break program. Racial Harmony Youth Ambassadors. Next Gen Leadership Program. I remember when I first came into RHY. I was a very quiet and awkward girl. I've always wanted to help people. And through RHY, we have always had a lot of experiences and a lot of chances to talk to people of the community. Three years down the road, I am now able to step out of my comfort zone and talk to people easily. I have a lot of experience, such as interacting with peers from different schools. It, it's eye-opening to know their backgrounds and where they come from. What is the world of business like to a young teenager like me? It exposed us to a wide array of opportunities. MFB sparked the entrepreneurship spirit and I'll say the interest in entrepreneurship which not many people at that age experience. The reason why I wanted to come back as a mentor started way when I was a participant. My mentor was always there for me. As a mentor, some of my mentees are facing some uh, problems and difficulties like what I used to face in the past. So using my personal experience, I will try to guide them accordingly and of course supporting them at, to overcome the difficulties. Volunteering has actually helped me build stronger bonds with my family. It's like I'm letting my mom into a little part of my life. I always share it for like, my experiences. I like, we're, we're talking about things that I enjoy doing and it, it also it's like me contributing back to my society is something that she's very supportive of. Her. I think that's how we, we build our bonds so by keep, keeping like our conversations going with this kind of topics. My group members and I work with APSN Katong Special School. For most of us, this is the first time we are actually meeting up with these students and then uh, interacting with them. So for the first year, we focus on helping them upgrade their life skills curriculum. We realize that these students are actually much like, very much like normal students. So all we had to do was to be a bit more patient and uh, caring when communicating with them. Um, when I was in next gen, uh, I was exposed to a lot of community initiatives. We did a lot of uh, work, grassroots work on the ground and I think it exposed me to a lot of uh, community work that I've never actually done before. And I think that taught me to value the whole community that, is, that surrounds us every day. And I think that really helped me to grow a lot as a person and it helped me to also be very grounded uh, as I was uh, growing during my formative years. Thank you Sawi CDC for letting me be part of this program and for kickstarting my volunteering journey. For providing me with this platform to be able to serve our community as a youth leader. For giving me the opportunity to explore the world. For giving me this chance to work with my friends and to serve the community. I'm more ready to take on challenges and I'm ready to face the challenges head on. For able to give me the opportunity to have this journey together with um, both my mentees, mentors and my officers and of course to get to know um, the district councillors and anything that happened.